Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to pick up where we left off playing Norco. Uh, due to a save issue, um, <laughs> where I left off last time, I had to replay the whole thing and get back to the same point. So I picked all the same, uh, all the same choices. The only thing that I did do, that I didn't do last time, was I found out a little bit more about Mom's old friend Duck. Now I know where to find him, at least. But first, we have to go break into S.H.I.E.L.D. I finished repairing the truck. Shall we attempt to access S.H.I.E.L.D.? Let's go! What? Monkey flies from the bed of the truck as million speeds down the highway. Monkey, no! That's awkward. All right, uh, close the map, I guess. And go back, yeah, no. Monkey was useless anyway. Shield entrance. Whoa, whoa. Looks like Shield upgraded their drone fleet. Seen a couple of these Sentinels downriver. They'll just keep calling on guards till you knock them out, but they can't be caught with bullets. Any ideas? We need a way into the security system. Reroute the flight path. That's what Lucky thinks. All right, Lucky. Can I talk to you guys? Diamond Head? No. Like I say, that Sentinel drone just going to keep calling on guards as soon as we knock him out. Lucky ready for anything. Up to you. Now nah, let's hold off. I gotta reroute the flight path. So I'm wait, clearing the sentinel. Yeah, I, I, I gotta find my guardhouse. A decommissioned freight mover is suspended above the refinery. Shield captain. Really shaking in my boots. Get that dog the hell out of here. All right, well, that didn't work. We can whoop these guards, but that will just keep calling more back. Ain't no shooting either. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, what do you know about shield? I'm around here, like you. I don't care about that. I need to find a way to deal with the sentinel. I have to go. <laughs> the pile has shifted since last time I looked. Move the boxes. You clear away the boxes, really need a portal built into the floor. Unbelievable. How many years has Catherine kept this doorway hidden? We must find a way in. What the? What? You make various attempts to open the doorway, but all your efforts prove futile. It remains locked. Well, shit. Want to just go downstairs? Into the kitchen? All right. All right. I was looking around for a while to see if there's anything I could do to get past the shield agents just yet, but I couldn't figure it out. So instead, we're going to go see Doc, Mom's friend. This guy right here. The house is partially boarded up. You assume it's an artifact of hurricane preparation that has since become a permanent fixture. In. Turn on that light. Hey, duck. Not the first ones to come through here, toppling over all my shit in the dark. Since the buyout, people think this neighborhood's all the way empty, come around looking for copper. But you wouldn't do that kind of thing, okay? Not like a brother. 
How's it been, duck? How's it been? <laughs> Bad how it looks. I made such a mess with that head drive, just trying to keep myself out of trouble till it's my turn to go, so... Head drive. I unleashed it. The monster, Super Duck, called itself that just to get to me, just to piss me off. Oh, so Duck created Super Duck. Neat. It's my fault. That company that made it for me, I should have known from the get-go. They only do their business at night. Found out later they even got a license. Your mother went to the same clinic for years. Tried to warn her. The junk that was in my brain, he begins to laugh. It's spreading around like a virus. It's even in the trees. I told your mother don't get messed up in any of that. She tells me it's talking to her through the radio. I said, turn off the radio. She never listens. Stop responding to me. Figured that monster got money to burn. Catherine didn't want to leave her debt for you to deal with, so... So you kept up with my mom. Up until right near the end, Kay. She lived like she wasn't sick. She never quit. I could see it wearing on her. It took a toll on her body. It started in her liver. It burned it out. Thought maybe that was the end of it. Before you know it, they found a little in her lungs. She was still going all over town, walking up and down the airline like some kind of bag lady. Figured she thought it'd go away if she ignored it. That didn't work out for her. <laughs> Once it came for me, I never did quit. I've been getting sores. Cramps every day. Can't keep nothing down. Tried to tell her that. Said, Catherine, this is not the kind of thing you can work off. Think she listened? By the time it got to her brain, that was all there was to it. No more working, no more doing nothing. She already gotten fed up with me by that point. Never really made amends before they put her in that mausoleum with your daddy. Oh, hurts my heart thinking about it. But what can you do? No hiding from God's will. So. Trying to get... I have more questions about my mom. This monster, my mom was working for it? Ain't even thinking about that thing. It knows I'm here dying while it grows and grows. Big, disgusting, toxic birds sprouting from the ground all over the region with teeth and hands and all kinds of shit. Unbelievable. Turns my stomach. What? What? I mean, that's what Catherine saw when she went to the building, but what? But you know what? I won't be the first to die. Hell no. I roped her mom into some lunacy. She wouldn't tell me the details. Couldn't get a single word out of her after a point. I don't know why it matters, but did you attend her funeral? Plan to. Arranged for my godchild to pick me up and everything, but the day of the service, I could hardly walk. I heard from a couple of people, it was a beautiful one. For all the bridges that she burned, there was plenty of people who had nice things to say. Even a few of her colleagues from the university showed up, the ones that got her sacked. I know that of chapter ass. <laughs> I buried her with that fake little ring she always wore around her neck. Ooh. She said it was a reminder of who she was. So I gotta go dig up my mom to get the ring to get into the trap door? Oh. Figured she probably wanted to give it to you, but you were gone. And Blake, well, he'd have pawned it off to anyone fool enough to buy it. So. Uh, the, ring she wore, the ring she wore around her neck was fake? You don't know the story? Kind of funny if it weren't so sad. Granddaddy wanted to prove he was from royal stock. So he broke into a pawn shop up there on airline and stole the biggest ruby he could find. Went around telling everyone it was from the old world. Said it traveled from France to Nova Scotia, down the Mississippi River. 
Oh, branch, the bloodline of Christ with the Holy Blood, Holy Grail, maybe. That was Priory of Sion. Uh, anyway. Well, that was a bunch of bullshit. He ended up in Angola for it, though they never did find the ring. I think that's the prison. Catherine took... Updated. Catherine took it to an appraiser one time. It's cubic zirconia. Fake. The man spent months in jail for a fake piece of jewelry. <laughs> After that, everyone started calling him King Pierre, laughed him right out of the crevasse. Uh, my mom was fired from the university. Sure, you were young. Couldn't have been long. Couldn't have been too long after Blue passed. She lied up and down to get that job, and it weren't nothing special neither. Just community college in the city. But that's Catherine. Never wanted to play it straight. I suppose Blake took after her in that respect. Uh, we're trying to get into the refinery. Not a good idea, Kay. What for? He stole my mom's stuff. Well, that's interesting. The regional executive, she took a particular interest in your mother. Why? She wanted to know the things Catherine knew, I suppose. Your mother was out in the lake. She heard S.H.I.E.L.D. or somebody was building some kind of rig out there. She wanted to find out for herself. She didn't find what she was looking for, but she found something. It sounded to me like her medication was messing up her head, but she insisted it was real. Some kind of UFO said it followed her for nearly a mile. But anyhow, that CEO that got shield, she's about as far out of her mind as your mother was. She must have caught wind of all this. Catherine got to be careful in her old age. Paranoid, even. The important things she kept hidden. Whatever S.H.I.E.L.D. stole, it wasn't nothing important. But you want to get it back. Can you help us get in? I'm going to regret telling you this, but I've been sitting on it so long and dying to tell somebody. I don't know how S.H.I.E.L.D. managed to do it, but they fucked up. They bought out this neighborhood, and ever since they did, they put me behind the firewall. Huh. Got a computer terminal back there. Every time I boot it up, I get a view of the inside. <laughs> Not like I know what the hell to do with it. Picked around a bit, but just got myself lost. Can't hardly read the screen. Fear's back there in my little library. Have a look. And whatever you do, Kay, I'm asking you to be careful. Uh, you mentioned a buyout. You must have known it's coming in. The houses are all gone. People here have been fighting with S.H.I.E.L.D. all their lives. They got a little momentum on their side after the last explosion. The papers were making S.H.I.E.L.D. look bad. But hell, we were here first. S.H.I.E.L.D. moved in. We suffered. Gas leaks, noise, explosions... Can't grow my vegetables out in the yard. Just won't grow. I never cared to move, but I knocked doors for it anyhow. If S.H.I.E.L.D. had never dropped in on us, my little plot of land would be worth something. Money they were offering to buy us out was all right. It'd be worth a lot more had they never come. The number they put in front of me. I said piss on it. Could have sued after Reese died. I just didn't have the energy for it. Now I'm the last one left in dimes, so... I'm sorry about Reese. It's history. Most days I can't remember his face, if I'm honest. When you fill out the survey at the Head Drive Clinic, they ask you to write down memories. Control points, they call them. All them years ago, I couldn't stand to write out his name. It was too painful. I skipped his memory. I regretted it at first, but I'm thankful for it now. It'd be a lot worse if that monster carried a piece of my boy inside it. Mm. Library.
storage containers filled with paperwork and newspaper clippings. Now, I didn't say we could look in here, but I'm going to snoop anyway. You shift through some of the clippings that filled the containers, most related to the catalytic cracking unit explosion of YX-10. Descriptions of the aftermath, the destruction, the displacement, the workers who died. Your father is listed among the names. Is there anything in the mind map? A bunch of stuff popped up. Talk to Duck. Duck is an old friend of your mom's who lost his son when a shield pipeline... Yeah. Yeah. He lives in dimes and is poor in health, I guess, is all that came up. What's this guy doing? The smile of the man who crouched in the ditch of the highway revisits your mind. His head was smudged with Wednesday ashes and mascara ran from his eyes. Yeah, yeah. A fugitive oil pirate hiding in the woods. Yeah, yeah. Shield is building a brain. Like he says, Shield is developing an artificial intelligence in order to conduct exploratory missions for off-world mineral reserves. Okay. Laura St. Clair is interested in your mom. Duck speculates that's because of the object your mom observed in the lake. Ah, the UFO. Okay. What's this? Oh, the UFO. Oh, not the UFO. Your mom versioned her consciousness at the same disreputable neuroversioning clinic as Duck. Oh, man. So does Super Duck have everybody's memory so she's compiling a, uh, compiling a huge database the device that hosts her consciousness is called a head drive oh boy that ring your grandpa broke into a pawn shop and sold a jewelry ring to uphold the lie that he was descended from french royalty okay your mom later discovered that the ruby was made from synthetic material she still wore the ring around her neck until she died she was buried with it yeah, French royalty, Priory of Zion, Bloodline of Christ. Yeah, okay, cool tie-in. What's this? A strange ornamental box. Crack that open. It's locked. Of course. What's this? A trophy sitting on top of the bookshelf reads, Junior Champion Reese Richard to St. Charles Parish. You peruse the titles on the bookshelf. U.S. Army Corps Anomalous Light Report. Report on the levitating spheres of light witnessed by multiple onlookers above Camp Memory in the Bonnet Carry spillway through the spring and summer of YX-1S, commissioned by the United States Army Corps of Engineers. After careful survey of the soil content in the area near Camp Memory, our inquiry had determined anaerobic conditions conductive to the formation of confined pockets of... Oh, <laughs> it's just swamp gas, baby. These spontaneous incidents of combustion were likely mistaken for floating luminous spheres. The pig man. Ooh, like on Seinfeld. Some claim that the pig man is a type of brunch who hides beneath the interstate bridges. Brunch. Like a troll? who hides beneath the interstate bridges that cross Lake Pontchartrain. Legend has it that if you bring the pig man a gift, he will return a gift to you in kind. Foreshadowing. What's that? Printer. A printout containing the letterhead of a law office in Medairi sits on the tray of the printer. Mr. Richard, after carefully studying the circumstances of the buyout, we recommend that you proceed with relocation. Shield is not legally obligated to provide you with an easement. You may find yourself trespassing on private property when leaving or returning to your home. Not sad. Bastards. A collection of bills, letters, and photographs are pinned to the board. The photographs are of various industrial and infrastructural landscapes that you recognize from around the region. The Jesmar Aluminum Refinery, the Grain Elevators Downriver, the Airport Control Tower. The 
head of a buck is mounted to the wall. Mm. A computer console with a large trackpad and magnified display. You pass your fingers over the trackpad, waking the machine. Shield security terminal is displayed on the console. You sit before the shield terminal display. This is a map of Shield Sentinel Drone Security Fleet. The entrance to the refinery is in Zone A. If we want to gain access to the refinery, then it may be necessary to clear the Sentinels from the zone. There are currently three drones patrolling Zone A. Perhaps there is a way of relocating them to other zones. Perhaps there is. It seems there is a precaution in place to prevent any zone from being unsecured, but there may be a way around this. No zone can host more than three drones. When one zone contains no drones, then a maximum capacity neighbor will reallocate the drones to the unsecured neighborhood. This means that when removing the last one from zone A, we must be sure that none of the neighbors are at maximum capacity. Roger that. Maximum capacity is three? Okay. Oh, because that would be one, two, three. So I gotta get rid of one more from here. There are two in D. Two and B, G and F. Many are enough. Three. Okay, three and F. One and F. Okay. What? Seems we're only given ten control operations for the system. Oh, you. When I draw, I say, yeah, 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 yeah. One. Two. Three. Four.
There we go. The drones have been cleared from the entrance area to the refinery. I suspect this will be helpful. How you doing, Kay? Try to get in now. No sentinel drones around. Once we clear these two, we're in. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, there is oh, monkeys. What was lucky do? Okay, I see. Ow! I can't use them again because I failed. Nothing much to it. When them sentinels not around, they let you more or less walk into the place. Would you take a look at that, big fella? A freight mover? Hell of a machine. You really put a show on with one of them. Lucky just thinking out loud. <laughs> Let's get to it, huh? Refinery's ours. Ooh, back to Catherine. Back to this thing. The super duck. Catherine, you made it to this warehouse with Big Bird. I sure did. We have a job for you. It will pay. It will solve some problems before you die. Dallas. So, <laughs> perfectly normal. No stranger to the network. You will assist Catherine. Yes. Catherine, in the lake, you saw the stone. We saw you see the stone. We want the stone, but it has evaded us. Superduck is... what else? A network. A system of signals, wireless communications of locusts and frogs, cypress roots, disease vectors, internet of flesh, biomimicry, Internet of Internet Radio Towers. What the heck? Distributed AI. Distributed birds in flight. Superduck saw you see the stone because Superduck was an eagle in the sky. The stone is a sky thing that many want, but it reveals itself to no one. No one except for you, Catherine. It followed you through the lake. It loves you. It seeks you. It will submit to you. But we must act fast. Shield wants the stone. Claire Bionics wants the stone. Super Duck wants the stone. And John has the stone. John. Everyone hates John. Everyone follows John. Influencer. Dopamine fiend. Convinced himself he has faith in God. Convinced others even. Some young and idealistic, some old and bitter. These are the garrets of John. You will find them gathered in the bowels of the Promenade Mall in Keener. John has in the stone in this forgotten place. He will use the stone in an attempt to fulfill his prophecies. But his are the prophecies of fool. Got it? Go get me my shiny stone. Hurry, before you die, I want to eat it. Have a good evening, you two. <laughs> wow, okay. I've earned some, some pennies, a pittance.
even. Go on, give me my shiny stone. What are you waiting for? Okay, can't do anything else. Mm hmm. Weird and creepy and awesome. I'll tell you what, we're going to leave it there for tonight. And when we start again, we'll pick back up with Catherine's story. And we'll see what the shiny stone is all about. This is going to be a long night, which is why we'll just leave it right here. Thanks, everybody, for checking out the video. Thanks for visiting the channel again. If you don't mind, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment. Let me know that you're out there. Have a good one.